Okay, I've been really flying the heck out of this uh, scratch-built tricopter, and um, I've been having a lot of fun with it, although I did crash it this afternoon, broke all three of the props. Um, that's about the second or third time I've crashed this thing, and uh, I've really done no damage to the frame whatsoever. The only thing I've done is I've broken a couple of these uh, PVC uh, little landing gear springy things, and... Uh, some props and I broke one or two motor mounts but I've re since replaced those. Um, when I'm flying this thing with my FPV kit on I've got to take this foam protector off uh, and this really helps with orientation but without it it's, it's kind of a difficult to see um, which direction I'm pointed so what I've done is gone through and put a couple of pretty bright LED strips one on this side one on this side that you can really only see when you're um, flying tail end. So when I see those two things, I know my tail end, that kind of helps me with my orientation. They're green LEDs and man, those things are bright. Um, it's really, really cool at night. And I've actually flown it a little bit at night with those LEDs as well. Anyway, um, I've been having so much fun with the tricopter that I decided to go, uh, I decided to give uh, the quads a try. And so this is what I've been working on the last couple of days. So anyway, I'm in the middle of building a couple of um, DJI Flame Wheel 450 quads. Um, there's a lot of aftermarket versions of this quad, um, and I have not seen any of them up close, haven't fiddled with any of them. I just ordered the DJI version, and I have to say I'm really, really impressed. Um, here's a couple of pictures of um, what it looks like in the box, how it's packaged. They're packaged really nice. Uh, all the parts are really nice quality. And uh, so yeah, this one I'm building for myself. This one I'm building for a friend. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna do some FPV cat and mouse or whatnot. Um, I've got everything hooked up that the motors installed, the props installed. I am waiting on my controller board. And what I'm going to be putting on both of these quads is the uh, KK version 2.0 control board with uh, auto leveling. It's the one that's got the little digital display on it or the LCD display. So you can do the programming just from the board itself without having to hook it up to a computer and all that mess. So uh, I think that's going to be... You know, I've heard they're pretty good little boards. Uh, the other thing, I want to get that NASA board, but for the price, I figured I'd try a couple of these with the KK boards. I'm flying a KK in my tricopter, and it flies pretty well, but that one doesn't have the auto auto level on it, and I really want the auto level for um, FPV flying. Uh, I'm going to put 5.8 gigahertz um, video transmitters on these things, uh, GoPro. And I'll be looking forward to trying my new antenna out for my Fat Shark goggles. Should be able to get a little bit better range that way, a little bit better uh, video signal, and, and I'll be able to aim it with my head. So anyway, we'll see. I'm hoping to get the controller boards in uh, early next week. And so, not this weekend, but next weekend we'll take these out and, and see how they fly.